now right hello everyone and welcome back to my fallout 4 mod spotlight series where today we are having a look at the modular sling backpack mod which is being made by user garen zero and what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is not just one but indeed two lovely new sling backpacks that have quite a lot of modular options to them as you can see from all the terrifying mannequins behind me here you've got a lot of things you can do to change up the aesthetics on these bags to get it looking how you would like and that is always a good thing now as for the backpacks themselves well they not only look good but are of course functional backpacks which will increase your carry capacity which i mean come on who doesn't want an increased carry capacity in this game especially if you're like me and basically never drop a thing good times so let's take a look at what we do get here with the slinger now they're both called the slinger just with one being called the slinger one the other being called the slinger two and stat wise they're actually entirely identical with both having a weight of 1.1 with nothing else to their name and the only real difference being the aesthetics of the strap itself with the slinger one having that wider strap and the slinger two having the more narrow strap with what looks like a radio on the front there otherwise they both have the same bag and flashlight up on the top and so all in all they they just look nice they are some pretty good sling bags there and the uh, flashlights pretty awesome because well light will come from there that is where the light will project from when you turn on your flashlight and that's always a fun little addition now, as for how you do get your hands on one of these lovely things, it'll be pretty simple. It is added into the leveled list for vendors, so you'll be able to purchase one of these from one of the various stalls in the Commonwealth, which makes it a pretty convenient. Or, of course, you could, you know, spawn it in like I did with console commands. How do you think I got this many of them? That's a... Uh... That's a lot of bags. Yes, all right, so with that out of the way, let's take a look at what we do get with the different modifications. Now, most of the modifications are gonna be aesthetic, not really changing anything stat-wise, but there are some things that will change up the stats, even adding in a little bit of extra protection. For instance, on our first category here, well, we've got the usual paddings and linings that you can add to most armor, where you can add like lighter build, asbestos lining, pocketed, and whatnot. The pretty usual stuff here, but it is pretty nice to add in a little bit of extra, say, uh, damage resistance for radiation or what have you. Or if you just want all the carry capacity in the world, deep pocketed, because that is just, that is even better. A backpack with even more deep pockets now the other stat wise one to sort of skip down to the bottom is actually the carry capacity by default this one when you find it in its most basic form will hold an additional 10 pounds of weight but using cloth as well as bottle caps you can up that all the way to 60 so that is a very good there and i do like that it isn't just a free thing or even just cloth i like that it kind of also takes up some bottle caps too just to make it a little bit more difficult i mean it's not going to take you too long to get 600 caps but it'll at least you know make it so you got to stick with the lower tier for a while I, I just like that sort of progression with things personally now other than that we got Oh boy, a lot of uh, different modifications we can make. And the first category is on the bottom of the bag. Where, as you can see here, I'll show them all on screen right now. We've got a bedroll, a deathclaw hand, a giddy up buttercup leg for some reason, a can of purified water, or a robot arm. And as you can see here, most of them just require cloth. In fact, three cloth even to make a death claw hand. That seems weird. You'd think you'd at least throw in the hand. Uh, the one difference is the purified water. That actually does take a can of purified water for you to put it in there. Now, after that, the next category we have is with the flashlight. Now, this is just going to change the color of the light. So you can have just the standard color or a blue 
a uh, brighter colored one or a red light. Red's my personal favorite here because it's just entertaining. And then after that, we have the left side of the bag where you can have either nothing on the left side, left side having some goggles, or a pocket. Now, I think it'd be cool if the pocket actually added some additional carry capacity, but no, it is purely an aesthetic item. And again here, these costing you cloth at one, except for nothing, because that's just, you know, uh, nothing and is the standard now which is weird because all the ones i found in the world actually had the left pocket instead but apparently the no left is standard now then we have the right hand side where again we can either have nothing a first aid kit or a right hand side pocket again purely aesthetic items but pretty cool i especially like the first aid kit and once more costing one cloth for you to produce either of those or again nothing for the nothing and then after that, we've got a uh, hanging bit on the bottom, where your options here are either nothing, a chain, a grenade, a rabbit foot, a rattle, or a teddy bear. Now this one, no matter which you choose, actually has no requirements, which was a little bit strange. You'd think there'd be something here, at least like with the cloth with the other categories, but no, no matter if you want a rabbit foot or a teddy bear on there, it's just a free aesthetic upgrade, which since it's aesthetic, I really don't mind. It's really only if there's stat-based stuff that that would then make me go, eh, maybe not. But then we move on to our uh, final category we have here for the aesthetic items, and that's decals. Now the uh, standard is nothing. But we do have six options of either a Mechanist decal, a Nuka Girl decal, a, a Revere decal, a Rust Devil one, a Sol Solcum jo Joes. I always want to say Slocum for some reason, but Solcum Joes or Vault Tech. And yeah, just a nice little additional thing there. Again, requiring one cloth for you to add it and just adds an extra little bit of pop. And with all those options, you can really make the bag how you like. I've got mine, for instance, on here. We've got the uh, the Slinger 1 with a bed roll, the goggles, the med kit there with a hanging grenade and a vault tech symbol. All pretty nice. I really do enjoy it. And just to give you guys a little bit closer of a look at some of these things, the, the uh, robot arm there is weird, but the Giddy Up Buttercup leg is just strange. I mean, why? <laughs> but hey, if that's what you want on there, or even a death claw hand, have at it, my friends. Now, as for the dangling bits, I think the teddy bear is the most terrifying. I mean, look at that thing. It's just weird. But you can also have a weird rattle, rabbit foot, grenade, or chain for whatever reason, if that's your style. Uh, the goggles are pretty cool, but if you do like just the extra pouch, that's nice. Or, of course, the nothing. And on the uh, other side, we've got the nothing. The first aid kit, which I really like. That's, I just think that's fun. The first aid kit strapped the bottom there. Or, of course, the pocket. Now, with the decals, I really do like these as they do add a nice little extra bit to things. The one that I don't care for so much is the Nuka Girl one, just because it's so pixelated. The others, because they are simple decals, they come up a lot more crisp. But because that one is a far more complex image, it just kind of ends up getting drowned out and pixelated, which is a bit strange. But all in all, though, still fun additions. My one issue that I have with the mod is on the Slinger 2 and only if you're playing as a female character. You can see here on the uh, Slinger 2, it kind of sits high, so it's actually above the shoulder. Now, if you're wearing armor, it actually doesn't look bad. It just sort of blends in a little bit. But if you're wearing just basic clothes or a vault suit on a female character rig, that uh, that is going to pop up there because it does seem to have been really made to fit the male frame characters. As you can see there, the uh, male frame one fits just fine. And on the one, it even does look fine on a female character. It's only the, the Slinger 2, which seems to sit higher up than where the shoulder actually is. 
So a minor little bug, but honestly not too big of one, especially again if you're wearing armor, you'll probably never notice it. And I mean, if you play in first person, you'll really never notice it because, well, you're in first person. But overall, it's a, just a pretty cool little mod, adding in a functional backpack, really helping out your carry weight that you can just deck out to what your aesthetic is, which is a pretty neat. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next episode, when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.